Good evening, and welcome to the first installment of Chapels 101. I am your host, Professor Brothers. Today we are going to discuss how to come up with chapel topics. Now I have asked people to give me some suggestions on how to best do chapels and maybe come up with some impossible to chapel topics, but I, hopefully you will find out that impossible chapel topics do not exist. First, let me give you some common misconceptions. First, people tend to go to the seemingly insignificant, as you can't do a chapel off of something like that, things like exit signs, purple crayon spatulas, how paint dries, doorknobs, questions like, is cereal a soup, eyelashes, acklet, which is the little plastic thing on top of a shoelace, plastic containers, wall tack, here's a good one, the 398,673rd digit of pi, hmm, Bluetooth buttons on a speaker, silverware, dust, mud, oatmeal, all of these seemingly insignificant things, however, Every single one of them easily could be made a chapel topic. Here's another common misconception. Pick, picking out things that are off the top of your head. Couldn't possibly make something out of that. Something like um, scissors, handstands, football, keepers of Lost City book series, toothbrushes, plastic water bottles, One Direction, Drake, golf. Google Forms, Fortnite, Chess, Atoms. Why are teachers punishing us with homework? TikTok, the SAT, Car Fuel. These, yeah, any of those could be made a chapel topic. Well, some go to the usual or bizarre. For example, split ends, the rusty metal parts of a car. How to fly with wings, raccoons and sweaters, Tinkerbell, the weirdest BuzzFeed quiz you've ever taken, diapers. Here's a real funny one. Think you could get me on this one? Why do my dogs look at their butts when they fart? Where did that come from? Is there alien life? Those unusual, bizarre things, they're what add color to our life, make easy chapel topics. Well, now comes to... After all suggestions, Professor Brothers' top 10 picks for what would make impossible chapel topics. Number 10, not sure or I don't know. Easily can turn that kind of idea and you're not sure, you don't know. How to be able to take something and be able to turn it into something positive. If you're not sure, there's lots of different suggestions you could do. Maybe come up with ideas or a list of how you can become sure. That would make a good chapel topic. Number nine, how many people are there in the world? Hmm, the interesting way you could go with this is you could say, well, there are lots of people living, there are lots of people dying, that's changing every single day. We could talk about that. We can also talk about even though there may be billions of people in the world, there's nobody else just like you. How about number eight? Explain our national debt. Who we owe and who owes us. Yeah, let's talk about that kind of idea. That is a challenging chap chapel topic, but you could take that and you could go all the other different impossible things that you could do with that. National debt seems to be a huge number, but you could break it down into smaller parts. Maybe you could talk about this trillion dollars, how it starts with just one penny, how one penny can add up to a great big total, or one seemingly insignificant idea when compounded could add into a great idea. Certainly a place we could go with that one. Number seven, nothing. Make a chapel out of nothing. You could probably use nothing as a topic. Is there really nothing out there? How would you know nothing without knowing something? 
is something significant? If you have something, then you must have nothing before? I don't know. I think we could go with that kind of idea, with that chapel, chapel topic. Number six, how the Cold War created Pringles. Now, this was a very interesting one, because did the Cold War create Pringles? Or is this just one of those things? Maybe we're trolling out there. Maybe somebody out there is thinking that that's possible, but maybe not. How do you know what's true? How do you know what's false? In the internet age, you can see a lot of different things. So that's kind of where I'd go with a topic like that. How about the number five, the importance of Ziploc bags? Ziploc bags, something that could be used in a variety of different ways. So simple and you see it everywhere, but yet Ziploc bags can be so critical. How do you keep something dry when it's wet? How do you keep something wet when it's dry? Hmm, Ziploc bags have many uses. And who invented that Ziploc thing? Seemingly insignificant, but is a very important, becomes a very important thing. That's where I would go with that. Number four, the difference between left and right. Why do I like this one? The reason I like this one is because your left is my right. My right is your left. But what if I turn around? If I turn around, my right becomes your left or your left becomes my right. Left and right is all a matter of perspective. And I like that idea that you could take perspective, you could take perspective and go with that one. Great chapel topic. Number three, why we shouldn't have school. Why we shouldn't have school. Well, maybe we shouldn't. There are people out there who say you shouldn't go to college because you could make more money if you don't go to college. That's an interesting thing to look at it. There's also people all around the world who live productive lives who don't go to school. Or maybe we could talk about the idea that going to school may not seem to be something you want to do, but when you look back, it was something you are glad you have done. So often we get into situations in which we in which we really don't think we want to be there, but yet look back and say, boy, I'm so glad I did that. Um, number two, if anything is really impossible, in fact, two people said, if, talk about the, if anything is really impossible, and then slightly different, my topic would be, what is impossible to do in a chapel? Hmm, doing an impossible chapel on impossible. Is there anything truly impossible out there? I mean, we're told anything's possible. Is that really true? We could go, we could go into a great chapel topic on that one. My number one, probably my number one favorite chapel topic that I got, that I received, Tell a story, and these, there's two of them here, and they think they both relate. Tell a story about something that never happened. And the second one that relates to this, the first two said, talk about Mars or if there's life there. But then he says, or talk about my future. Tell a story about something that never happened or talk about my future. Interesting, because the future hasn't happened yet. In anything that we talk about, we talk about what is potential or what is probably going to happen or what could happen or may happen or should happen. Anything in the future, anything in the future has not happened yet. So if we talk about a future, we're telling a story about something that's never happened. And chances are, if we talk about what's going to happen in the future, that exact thing won't happen, but that doesn't mean that we don't talk about it. That doesn't mean that we don't focus on it. That doesn't mean that we don't look at it and say, hey, let's plan, let's plot, let's figure, let's go and look at what could happen. Think about all of the fables and the stories that we have. 
that have never happened yet give us wisdom and give us insight. Think about the idea of plotting and planning for your future. I don't know what's going to happen, but we still plot and plan. Those are places that I could take the chapel topic. So, thank you very much for all of your very creative ideas about what you could, what a chapel topic could be. Hopefully I've given you some ideas of how you could take certain basic ideas and turn things into a chapel. You might want to tune in next time when I have chapel topics number two on how we could actually, how we can actually take the common and mundane and make it great and wonderful as far as what we can learn from as far as our chapels. I have been your professor, Professor Brothers, and this has been Chapels 101.